Hi, my name is Jack. I'm a hydrologist with the Santa Clara Valley Water District. Today I'm going to show you the flood watch tool and how that can help you identify flood risks along our county's creeks. To use the tool, you can visit our valleywater.org website and select flooding and safety and click on flood ready. It should bring you to our flood ready page. Uh, if you scroll down, you will see a location for our map based flood watch tool. So if you give that a click, it should bring you to the flood watch tool. This tool is particularly useful if you live near one of the creeks that we have indicated on this map. You can zoom in and out and pan just like you would Google Maps and get a better feel of the, the areas and locations where our creeks and our facilities run. These green dots that you see here, these correspond to sensors that we have. And these are stream sensors that measure the height of water in our creeks. Right now they're all green, which means they're in normal flood stage, which means no problems. And as they go up, they will change color based on this legend you see here. So for example, if it turns yellow, it would be an action status. Um, an orange color would be a minor flooding status and so on and so forth. So this will give you a quick indication of how the creeks are doing during some specific storm event. If you click on any one of these dots, you'll see a reading of the current creek level. So here you see Coyote Creek at William Street. The blue line is the current recorded data that our sensor is picking up and sending over to us. And these bands, these action, minor, moderate, and major bands, yellow through purple, also correspond with the previously mentioned colors here on the legend. If you click on this graph, it should bring you to a more detailed page. This page has more in-depth information on what each color actually means. So for example, from at this location, minor flooding and orange, you will see homes near the creek along Royal Way and 17th Street begin to flood and Watson Park and Coyote Creek Trail. So you can continue reading as the stage goes up. There is much more, obviously, that becomes flooded. So hopefully this gives you a better understanding of flood risk when our sensors read a certain level. Here you see we have a more detailed version of the graph. We can hover over the bar and see that the creek is currently around a stage of four, which is far below our action stage right here. It's important to note that all this data we have is approximate. Creek conditions can change very rapidly during storms and may impact the data. There are also possible data transmission errors and glitches that occur when we're getting the data. So it is preliminary information, but hopefully this is a helpful tool to help you assess your flood risk. For more information on keeping your home and family safe during a flood, you can visit our website at valleywater.org floodready.